the art of magic has long dazzled fans. At first thought to be actual paranormal powers, in recent decades magic has been revealed as mere deception, yet we still love the performances and clever ways magicians fool us. Today we have compiled the list of the five greatest African magicians. But before we begin, to stay up to date with our latest videos and cool lifestyle topics, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button below this video. Brendan Peel Brendan Peel is an award-winning performer and professional magician and mentalist hailing from Port Elizabeth. Since 2011 he has blown the minds of excited audiences all across South Africa. He has a unique blend of magic and mentalism that really creates the illusion that he is getting inside your mind while leaving the audience thoroughly entertained. Brendan has performed at every Grahamstown National Arts Festival since 2011 with solo hit shows such as Think Twice, Magic Through the Ages, and Mind Over Magic. All his shows gained critical acclaim and has been dubbed by critics as, mesmerizing, and, captivating. He has also performed all over the country in other festivals as well as large corporate events. Adrian Smith. Whether he's performing at a birthday party, close-up magic at a wedding or corporate dinner function, or performing in front of larger audiences on cruise ships, MSC Sinfonia and Opera, Adrian's memorable and magic entertainment intrigues audiences wherever he goes and has taken him all over the world. Adrian Wit and Charm offers a fresh take on conventional magic and his cheeky character and sharp sense of humor are guaranteed to leave you in hysterics and be a hit at your next event. Babs Cardini. The mention of magicians in Nigeria's socio-cultural space readily reawakens memories of con artists and the criminal escapades of money doublers who swindle unsuspecting citizens and rob them of their hard-earned fortune. But Babs Cardini, a Lagos-based 19-year-old, is gradually edging towards the spotlight as he signals a move away from money-oriented sleight of hands that could see him join the ranks of late Masud Peller, a Nigerian professor and renowned magician, in the show business. According to BBC, the most popular trick he is asked to perform is to turn objects into money. From a quick change of outfits and growing an extra finger to making drawings come into reality, Babs talked about his career prospects and his three-year projection which he hopes would make him one of the greatest magicians in the world. Yeah, any color you like, and we are all going to see it. Yeah, let's see. Should it. I show it? Yeah. Keep your eyes. Oh, Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> okay, you have to keep your eyes on the Queen of Hearts. Are you seeing? I can see. There's a card on top. Yes. Not cheating, yeah? No. Watch. I can see. You push the Queen of Hearts. Can you push that inside for me? This one? Mm hmm. Queen okay. of Hearts. Uh huh. It's appearing in my mouth. Check it out. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one queen of hearts in the deck, and if you look at the queen of hearts, can you give me a hand? One, two, like that. Change to the two of speed. Where is the queen? I don't know where the queen is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't lie, don't go wrong, I'm weak. 
Uh, can I borrow one of your rings? One of my rings. Ah, yes. Let me see now. Since you're using my own ring, this is my ring. I hope they're not expensive. Mm -hmm. They are, but so they, they are. are you gonna damage it? Yeah, sorry. Is it gonna? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 is this my ring? <laughs> it is my ring. Alright, yeah, thank he's you. Good. It's good. Yeah. Andrew Simiu. After leaving school at the age of 15 to join an acrobatic troupe in the Kawangware slums of Nairobi, Kenya, where he lived with his family, Andrew Simiu Litoro's life changed when he saw a visiting American perform card tricks. Over the years, as Andrew was performing as an acrobat and dancer in various European circuses, he read and studied every book he could find on the subject. I was fascinated by card tricks but as time went by I started to understand how magic works and I chose things that fit my personality, says Andrew. I came across some coin tricks and that's when I learned about sleight of hand. While working at a circus in Spain in 2010, Andrew was called upon for his first performance, which included card tricks, stage magic, disc manipulation, illusions, and close-up magic to amaze the audience. In 2016, he returned to Kenya and took on the character of, Mikawi, which in Kiswahili means, wizard, and with ideas to introduce magic and illusion to the East African live entertainment industry. Wyan van den Berg. Wyan, 23 years old, born in South Africa, grew up in a small town and first saw a magic trick on the Ellen DeGeneres show. He then started trying to figure the tricks out and eventually became a self-taught professional magician in South Africa. He has studied material from some of the best magicians around the world. In 2015, he auditioned for South Africa's Got Talent. He had an incredible reaction from the crowd and was stormed outside by people wanting to see more. Since then, he has performed around the world and been featured on numerous television shows, news interviews, performed for the entire Springbok rugby team and filmed a TV series in Cape Town. How did you do that? Can you keep a secret? Yeah. Me too. Glass bottle and an iPhone. Watch. Oh! This is unbelievable. I've got one piece of gum left. Watch the cards. <gasps> what the hell? It's so good, eh? It's so good. <laughs> and he's super good looking. I love that. Name any number between one and five. Four. Watch. Watch the minute. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
Do it too. Take them in and just throw it and it will fly back. One, two, three. Throw. Just kidding. <laughs> just a deck of cards? Yeah. Then explain this. <laughs> Coca Cola can watch. <gasps> we heard it! Deck of cards here? Oh, my shoelace is not done. My shoelace? Yes. Ah, oh, hang on, let me just give that a little bit of a shake like this. Ah, oh, how did you do that? <laughs> Empty hands. Watch. Oh. <laughs> I have two mints. Watch. Yo! <laughs> oh, no. A bottle of water and a pen. Watch. Yay! Oreo. What? What? Two sponge holes, one goes here, one squeeze, watch. Watch the ring. One, two, three. If I put it in my pocket, I can get it to go all the way through like that. Oh, watch. Back on your finger. That would have been good. That would have been Coca-Cola bottle. Mm -hmm. It's gone. I'll, I'll, I'll check. Yep, it worked. Now the hard, the hard part is to make it come back. Watch. Wow! Nah, I'm kidding. That's a bad trick. I'll just <laughs> mixed up deck of cards here. Watch. New deck order. No. Just like that. <laughs> Watch the balloon. <laughs> Your name? Tepar. 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 I'm gonna call you buddy. No. Take any card you want. And then write your name and your credit card details on there. <laughs> Put the card back anywhere you want. And now watch this. <laughs> Rubik's Cube here. Put the cube inside the bag and then just give it a snap. Have a look. Oh. <laughs> Deck of cards, will you shuffle them for me, sucker? I mean, sir. <laughs> what was your card? Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts, watch the ace. iPhone and a scarf, watch. <laughs> Watch my shadow. I'm gonna move the cards with my shadow. Oh no! No! Yes. no! Oh, what? No! Thanks for watching. Please share this video and follow me on Instagram for stuff you can't find here. That's all for today, thanks for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed the video but if you did, please hit on the like button below and also subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and see you on the next video.